Hi, I'm Maggie Ochoa. I'm a Jiu-Jitsu fighter under the Jiu-Jitsu Federation of the Philippines. I fight for God's glory, and I fight to end child sexual abuse and commercial sexual exploitation here in the Philippines. My hope is to empower women and those that need the most empowerment. I just want to give a warning that whatever I will show in this video, don't try this at home. Okay? If you want to learn Jiu-Jitsu, come over at Jiu-Jitsu Manila and we'll learn together. So what I'll be showing now is a brief overview of the different concepts of Jiu-Jitsu. So it will just give you an idea of how Jiu-Jitsu looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is a takedown. So takedown is when we're both standing up and I cause him to fall down. Okay, so, but the kind of take time, take down I'm going to do is an ankle pick. And this ankle pick, the entry will be a fake guard pull. So I'm going to pretend that I am going to be ending up on the bottom, but in fact, what I'm going to do is he's going to end up on the bottom. Okay, so I get first the same side collar grip. Okay, I fake the guard pull by bringing my leg up and actually sitting down so that he thinks that I want to go down. So he's going to be a bit complacent. Okay. So from here, I'm gonna like fake sitting down, okay? But in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back the leg that I brought up. I bring it in front of me. I kneel my back leg, boom. Then I'm pulling down with a collar grip, okay? Then I grab the ankle, okay? Then from here, I'm gonna stand up. And as I stand up, I push the collar grip and I pull the ankle grip. Okay? And that's gonna cause him to have weak base and fall down. Boom. Okay, so fake guard pull to ankle pick. Okay, so I'll be showing the sweep. So sweep, now I'm on the bottom, okay? Then when I have my legs between me and him, I have guard, okay? So sweep is when I reverse the position, I end up on top, from the bottom, okay? From a guard position, okay? so. This particular kind of sweep is called the tripod sweep, okay? So it's one of my favorites. Very basic, but very effective. Okay, so this one is gonna start with the sleeve grip, okay? And then I'm gonna be grabbing the other pant here, the pant tip, okay? Then I'm gonna be hooking the ankle with my right foot, okay? Then my left foot is gonna be stepping on the hip, okay? Then from here, I'm gonna be pushing forward with my foot and hip, then I'm gonna be opening up the ankle grip going towards the right, that way. So that's gonna break his base. So as I push the foot on hip and extend the foot on the ankle, okay, I'm gonna be breaking his base. Okay, he'll end up on bottom, I end up on top. So boom. Okay. One, two, three. So what I'm gonna do now is called a guard pass. Okay, so pass is when I get past his legs okay, to go to his side or two, all the way to the head, okay? So the point is when you pass, you have to get past the legs, okay? So there are several kinds of pass, but what I'm gonna be showing is the knee slice pass, or the knee through pass, okay? So from here, now you see his legs are between me and him. So this means that he has guard, okay? So I have to get past his legs, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand on the inside of his knee, I step to the side, boom. Other hand will go on the hip, Okay, I step over his leg, I put my right knee on the thigh, then all the way to the mat, I step my leg forward, I hug the head, I hug the arm, I free my foot, and now I'm in a controlling position. Okay? So what I did was I actually got past his legs, got past his guard, so it's called a guard pass. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing now is a submission. So submission is when you cause your opponent to tap out either because of pain or because of uh, lack of air or lack of uh, blood flow. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is a choke, a choke from the back position. So the back position is when I have my legs here around the hips, okay, and then my arms are going to be controlling. One arm is over the shoulder, one arm is under the shoulder. Okay, so this is called back control. Now, to do the choke, I'm going to be passing the collar to the choking hand, okay. And then the other hand is going to be grabbing the other collar, okay? So I'm going to bring him onto my right side, which is the choking side. I take out my leg, okay? I bring that leg on top of the shoulder, okay? Then my other leg is just going to be staying here across the hip, 
Okay. Now, I keep the choking grip, but my other hand is going to reach for his leg. Okay. Then, from reaching the leg by the pants, I'm going to be hugging the leg. Okay. Then, I close my legs like this together, and I pull back to do the choke. 